Pay attention, Brian. I'm going to show you how to change the blade in your saw. I know you've seen this one before. You should know how to do it. Basically, it works pretty simply where every saw has a brake on it. Now, this saw, the brake is right here, and that's what stops this from continuing to spin. But we have lost the Allen key on this saw um, because I've had it for years, and who knows how the Allen key got lost. But what's really cool about this hammer, the Bosch hammer has this, and it's literally designed for this. It's almost as if this hammer was invented for carpenters. What a wild concept. We take the bolt out. We do not lose it. It's also pouring rain right now, and I know how people love it when they see me working in the rain. They're just, just not supposed to be in the rain. But when it rains, what am I supposed to do? You know? Okay, you want to make sure that most of the blades that you'll find, this is for cutting uh, cement board, that's why it looks like this, but it has an arrow to tell you which way it spins. And this is like a worm drive where it cuts the opposite way, so or it's, you put your blade in upside down in this kind of a saw. You just want to look and make sure whatever saw you're using, you put the blade in the right place. Um, now that is a tip for the ages. Okay, and this is a reverse thread, so in order to tighten it, you would normally go the other way, but in this case, you go the opposite direction, which can be confusing sometimes, yes. But you don't want to use a power tool to tighten up your, your, your saw here because you just risk shearing it and damaging it. And you get your, your hammer back on there. And we spin it till we win it. Come on, you. Let's go. All right, get the brake in there. Give it a turn. Boom! Oh. 